from its nine, a nine member girl group that has a special place in my heart now with eight members is having a comeback on June 5th with their first full studio album called Unlock My World. And here is why you should care about this upcoming era by them. Now everyone hear me out, I think they were well due for this comeback for quite some time now. Why one may ask? So most of us know that From Us 9 is currently under Pledis, a subsidiary to Hybe, right? Well, I want to make this clear right away, From Us 9 didn't begin with a big four company with privileges. In fact, the members grew on their own even though they were mismanaged by two companies in the past before. It all started with From Us 9 going through a mess of an Mnet survival show called Idol School. Yes, you heard it right, Mnet was involved. Ever since Idol School, From Us 9 went through various turmoil which I can't fully explain in just one video. But one of the many things I can share is that From Us 9 and the contestants went through abuse and mistreatment. First occurrence, mind you, was when they forced 40 trainees to sleep in one room that was freshly painted with no proper ventilation at all, which caused the trainees to develop skin rashes and it was hard to breathe at the end of the day. On top of that, one of the trainees forcibly broke a window to escape because she couldn't take it anymore. Crazy, right? After all of this, I don't know how Mnet continues to have survival shows. Moving on to From Us 9's transition within their careers, it only continued to be rough as From Us 9 and their fandom known as Flovers, including myself, were left in limbo after going through stone entertainment and off the record's lack of faith and care. Back then, if you were a fan of any of the groups from Mnet's survival shows, you had to wait for the investigation in 2019 regarding the Mnet vote manipulation and struggle as your respective group goes through a hiatus. To think that fans, contestants, numerous groups, and their families had to go through that is so horrible. Mnet or CJENM wasted not only everyone's time and money, but also their efforts and emotional investment. Seriously, it still disgusts me to this day since Mnet continues to evil edit and other survival shows are intentionally putting trainees and contestants through so much just for buzz. I'll probably cover that in a separate video regarding the issues of survival shows and some ongoing individuals in the industry. Now moving on to this day and age with From Us 9 being under Pledis Entertainment. Let's be real here, once From Us 9 was announced to be managed by them in 2021, many of us didn't want it to happen as we know that Pledis mismanaged girl groups ranging from the legendary girl group, after school, to Priston, who deserved way better. Like sure, everything became more hopeful as From Us 9 got more resources for their promotions, them receiving their well-due first win with Talk and Talk, and their official light stick. However, we can't disregard the lack of support shown from Pledis in the last several months leading into this upcoming comeback in June. After all the troubles From Us 9 went through, they had to deal with malicious comments on regular Weavers livestreams, which in turn forced them to oftenly switch to membership Weavers livestreams as malicious comments were not under control or filtered out. Unfortunately, it didn't help because those comments ended up moving into the exclusive live streams as well. Go figure, in 2023, people are still going out of their way to spew nonsense. Now, way before this announcement for From Us 9's comeback in June, in the month of February, some news came out that From Us 9 would be making a comeback in mid-March with their first full album since debut. In addition, it was mentioned that they finished filming their MV in Korea within about two weeks and the level of production will be higher than the previous eras. Y'all should have seen me excited for this comeback news as it was supposed to happen on the same month as my birthday, 
But jokes on me, Pledis was radio silent this whole time, whether that be regarding the members' birthdays, social media activity, and etc. So Flovers and I were left in the dust, waiting for answers. As someone who watched Idol School and became a Flover when From Us 9 had their pre debut with glass shoes, I can confirm From Us 9 cultivated an outstanding discography over the years, consisting of high end quality title tracks and B sides within the following three digital singles, two single albums, two special single albums, and five mini albums, and that's gonna continue to be the case for the upcoming full studio album. Out of all these releases and ongoing, they have kept their signature sound by truly singing from their hearts with earnesty, yet have matured their sound and concepts over time. In terms of variety, it's pretty much endless and so convenient to access thanks to many resources from fellow Flovers. Promisepedia is actually a whole site ran by Promisubs and Promise Publications. It has all the Promise 9 content in order, starting with their MVs and albums, original series, variety they have been on. <laughs> various live streams including past V lives and performances and it gets even sweeter there's a section for baby flovers or people who are new to the fandom so there's no excuse at all because there is a complete guide there to everything from his nine Overall, the point is, From Us 9 still deserves better, and they need all the love they can get. So even if you are not a fan, I really urge you to check out their title track, Hashtag Me Now, when it drops, or even the full-length album where the members took part on the lyrics and composing for about half of the songs on the album. Now I want to mention this real quick, all the members took part in writing the 10th track on the full album while Hyung took part on the composing end of it. Mark my words, From Us 9 are going to top themselves yet again and come through with such an iconic era. I mean look at the teaser pics and animated video, it's like a throwback to their My Little Society era where they are inviting us into their world. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this brief video regarding From Us 9's upcoming long-awaited comeback. I've been wanting to do informative videos and video essays for quite some time now, so if you enjoyed this, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Feel free to check out the Patreon for free and exclusive variety content, reactions, and reviews. Take care and see you in the next one.